Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to configure Windows 10 to create various types of dump files after a blue screen of death occurs on your computer. Now this dump file is particularly important for debugging purposes. So in this tutorial I will be showing you how to configure and create the dump file. So we're going to start by heading over to our control panel. So we're going to type in control panel into the search menu and then we're going to left click on the control panel which should be listed as a desktop app. Depending on what your view by status is up here, it might be a little bit different for you guys, but you want to get to system. And then you want to left click on advanced system settings on the left side here. In the system properties window that opens up, you want to left click on the settings button within the startup and recovery section. You want to make sure that underneath the system failure section, that write in an event to the system log and automatically restart are both check marked here. If you click on this little drop down arrow underneath write debugging information, we see we have different options for a dump. So if we select none, it will not create a dump file. A small memory dump would contain information regarding the stop code of the blue screen of death error. The kernel mode dump would contain read and write pages present within the memory at the time that your computer crashed. A complete memory dump is exactly what it sounds like as it will record all of the contents of your RAM when the computer crashes. An automatic memory dump is almost the same as a kernel memory dump except for the fact that this is the size of the paging file. And then the final and last one on this list is called the active memory dump which contains the active memory in the user mode and the kernel. So when you select which one you want to create, you just want to select OK. And uh, whatever, you just want to make sure whatever your selection here is the one that you want. So we're going to select a small memory dump, otherwise known as a mini dump. And then I'm going to left click on OK. I'm going to click on OK again, get out of that window. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.